Hey, 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 what's going on, guys? This is Piano Zero here, and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play series. This is episode forgot of this Let's Play series, and uh, like I said last episode, guys, I would get the slime farm complete, and it's done, guys. The whole slime farm is complete. Um, I definitely need to show it to you guys. It, it definitely has been working. Uh, I've been working on it for a very long time. Spent pretty much all day yesterday just working on it. Working out the kinks. It's not as effective because I still need to light up the place a little bit more. But when I do, then I'm just going to get a lot of drops. So, um, how are you guys doing today? <laughs> um, I need to remember to ask you guys that because I really... Like if you guys didn't hear me last episode, I really need to start to remember that instead of just getting straight into the video so yeah how are you guys doing my day has been pretty good so far um not really that snowy honestly i live in colorado but it's not that snowy to be honest so if you hop down here um this is actually where my slime farm is i'm wondering if i should hop down um you know what i'm going to we slime boing Boing, 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 boing. Um, so this is basically my slime farm in a nutshell. And I think it worked out really well, guys. I spent last episode um, kind of working out the kings, hollowing out all of the chunks areas. And basically what happens is um, I actually need to replace the horse with the glowstone because that's actually causing a problem. But what happens is if there's a big slime that spawns in these slime chunks, it'll actually get suffocated in the wall. Um, and if that does happen, then it'll just go into a medium slime. Uh, after that, then the medium slimes then go and fall. Actually, it's not just medium. It's medium and small. Um, they fall into these, pretty much these, uh, conveyor belts of water. And it actually carries you all the way to the area. Hold on, I need to show you guys. It, it goes from there, there. It all goes in one big kind of loop, and basically around here, um, it actually picks up, and after that, you go through here, you drop down a little bit, uh, you climb up this ladder, and once you climb up this ladder, the slimes will actually climb up automatically, because slimes are always facing down, and in a way, it makes the slimes always climb up ladders, which is a kind of cool thing to know. So, um, right here is... Oh! See if I can get this. Uh, right here is actually a giant, what's it called, carass, whatever you want to call it, that um, I actually had to light up a ton because it was affecting spawn rates like a lot. So I definitely worked on that a lot. So that's that for lighting it up. I still need to light up a lot more areas because it's definitely affecting um, spawn rates for slimes. So that's kind of a problem, but... Other than that, it actually is working out pretty well. So, once I climb up the ladder, the conveyor belts basically take them all the way over here. And after that's done, wait for it. Um, I actually put these buckets of water, water, these infinite water sources, just in case something bad happens. It also helped when I was making the conveyor belt. So, yeah, and you can actually see this part from the surface. They basically go up another ladder through these glass tubes through the water. And then they keep on going. And on the last stop... Um, they will actually drop down onto, hold on, let me get out real quick, just in case. There we go. Oh gosh, where's the other one? Yep, there he is. So, basically what happens is some slimes die just from the fall height, but um, just in case they don't, I have an iron golem there to kill the slimes when they fall. Which is actually a pretty good technique, and I've actually been making a lot of slime balls off of it so far, which has been pretty good. If you guys like it, like I think, um, if you guys don't know where I am right now, I'm in the first house I created. I'm actually not really liking these cauldron setups anymore. Um, I'm thinking of getting rid of them, but I'm not completely sure. So it basically, um, I put it in this house, and once this is uh, all set up, I made it go down all the way to here. And once this all goes down, then pretty much I just laid out a bunch of chests for slime balls in the future or just random crap, um, whatever I want. And I think it actually looks pretty nice. Um, I definitely want to put um, these logs right here to make it look a little bit more um, detailed, make it pop out a little bit more. 
But yeah, that's pretty much it for the slime farm. I thought uh, it worked out pretty well. Um, the hoppers did take a lot of iron, um, as well as the iron golem. Used up a lot of wood for this project, and it re looks really good. So um, another thing is you guys might think it looked a little bit dark, but if I press F3, um, it is exactly on the edge of mob spawning. So spawn mobs spawn with a block light of 7. And if you can see towards the bottom, it says light 8, which means the block light is 8. So it's just on the edge of mob spawning, but not exactly. So I thought that was pretty cool, so I don't have to add too many lights. But yeah, so I'm going to go and breed some cows and a couple more stuff for today. And then I'm going to work on, and I'm going to start to work on something. Uh, that I've been wanting to do for quite a while, and I'll explain to that once I'm done. All right. All right, guys. So I'm back. Um, I actually didn't do any breeding. I just thought I'd just go ahead and start off the video. So um, the jumper and the sprinter horses have been in um, that hidey hole for quite some time, and I was just waiting till the right moment until I got two golden apples so I could breed them. So um, I actually found two golden apples. Well, not started golden apples. I actually found two apples and I just made them golden. So um, I really want to breed them and see what I get, but uh, I'm a little scared that it isn't golden apples to breed them. We'll have to see. So, oh, perfect. Sweet. Um, oh, awesome. Now, okay, I got, I got some wheat. Let's see if I can grow you to your full height and then we'll probably, oh gosh, no. Grow, grow, uh, uh, oh gosh, yeah, okay, they should be getting out anyway, so, let me quickly shut up phone, get out of here, um, I got a problem, I, oh my gosh, don't, okay, alright, sweet, he's mine, so, let me quickly go grab a saddle, and see if he has a good jump, and good sprint, hopefully that will be the case, because I found a good jumper, found a good sprinter, but I'm not exactly sure, if he will be both so actually he could be less he could be like neither and that would totally be total fail but we'll have to see so let's quickly put a saddle on you come on um okay okay yes let's see he's pretty fast and what's his jump oh yeah that's exactly what i wanted yes 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 that is exactly what i wanted Oh, I'm so happy. All right, so I want to quickly attach some armor, and I need to go grab those guys real quick because I don't want them wandering off. But I need to grab some diamond armor for him. I want to see what he looks like. Um, oh, yeah, that looks good. Looks good. Not my favorite. I, personally, I like the golden armor better about, compared to all of them, but you know what? That's all right. And plus, we'll be pretty protected throughout the whole exact um, thing. So... Where is a lead? There's a lead. Let me quickly grab you and let me hook you up right here. Actually, come on. There we go. So, I forgot what it was to make a lead. I know I have slime balls somewhere. Where are they? Oh, there we go. Um, two leads. I think I need two leads and we need more string. Do we have more string? Um, yes, we do. Alright, sweet. So, let me quickly make two more leads. Um, there we go. Awesome. Now, actually, I need to put this slime all back. It's an OCD thing. Um, one of my OCDs is actually I can't have one of something in Minecraft. Like, if I have one dirt block like this, I will throw it out because I just hate one of something. I don't know why. It's just an OCD thing, but um, makes me mad when I <laughs> only have one of something. That's just something you guys have to know about me. It's kind of, kind of stupid. It's kind of a stupid OCD, but, you know, it's an OCD. I can't help it. So, yeah, you learn something about me every day. So, I wanted to put them in the same exact position. Actually, you know what I could do? Um, let me see if I can quickly... Oh, God, they're going everywhere. Um, hopefully, they're all still on my lead. Oh, my God. Oh, gosh. Um, I need to make a horse stable soon. I'm not going to do it this episode, but I definitely need to start planning for a horse stables because um, this is actually sort of a problem. All right, sweet. So... We got both of those horses there just because I don't want to deal with them, but um, at least we'll know that they will be there. So another thing I want to do is I want to give the horses some hay because I don't want them just laying around being lonely for a long time. So I want to give them some hay. Um, I don't exactly know how much hay I have, but 
I can always just get some more wheat from this here farm. There we go. Um, quickly, quickly, quickly. Just farm it, break it, farm it, break it, farm it, break it. Oh wow, skeleton and golden. Actually, I saw this earlier today. I was cleaning um, I was cleaning up my slime farm, and I actually saw a zombie with full enchanted iron armor. It was probably the weirdest thing. So I, you rarely see mobs in iron armor, and I was just thought it was pretty cool since it was enchanted and full iron. Um, I thought it was pretty cool, but that's just me. So. Um, I think this should be enough wheat to give to the horses. So, let's see. I forgot what it was to make wheat. So, it's that. Yep, there we go. Perfect. So, we got a hay bale. Perfect hay bale. So, I don't know. Someone's knocking on my door. I'm not going to answer it, though, because I just don't want to deal with people because I'm recording, and it would be very unprofessional. So, let me just place this down here. Um, plunk. There we go. Very good. Very neat. Awesome. So, we got some hay for him. Um... I don't think we really need hay for... Wait, what's his name? Oh, we forgot to name him. We forgot to name him, guys. What's his name? We should we have a name tag, right? Um, Where's my name tag? Nope. Oh, you can see I did some enchanting. Um, I actually need to explain that to you guys in a second, but I need to find that name tag. I know I had it somewhere. Just need to find where it is. Hold on. Huh. There it is. All right, sweet. So let's go to the anvil real quick. Let's actually take him with us. Um, I don't think we should name him Spirit. Um, what should we name him, guys? Um, not exactly sure what we should name him. Um, I didn't get any names in the comments below last episode for what we should name him, so I'm kind of at a loss. Um, we're going to have to see. I'm just going to have to go with something. And I don't have any levels. Amazing. Wait, or do I? Um, let's see. Actually, I don't know. Let me just test something. Um, test. Oh, God. No, no, no. Let's actually give him a name. Because maybe I think I can still take it, even with low level. So, what should we name him? Um, we should name him... Huh. I'm looking at my monitor and I'm thinking Acer. <laughs> what? I don't have Oh there we go, it just didn't show my XP. Okay, so um I guess the horse's name is Acer. Actually I don't mind that name at all. It actually isn't a bad name for him. So that's actually good. Now I'd like you to meet Acer, everybody. He is our new horse. He is gonna be a fine member to this let's play. So I've got two ender pearls and I was wondering if I had any blaze rods real quick no doesn't look like it I think I spent it all on the brewing stations which is actually kinda cool so check this out guys um, I'm gonna quickly see if I can run to the nether fortress and grab um, maybe some blaze rods but look at this guys I found four blaze rods and I made a, so, like a small brewing room inside which I thought was pretty cool so um, I do need more blaze rods though, that's the only problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go gear up, go to the nether fortress off camera, and then we'll probably explore it and kill some wither skeletons and blazes this episode. So I actually want to get a wither skull, or maybe two, three, so we can spawn the wither skeleton. Um, I thought, I think that would be really cool, I just don't want to spawn the wither skeleton like in this world, not in this world, but... Um, in this general area. I definitely want to spawn him kind of far away so he doesn't destroy too much stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go do all the things that I just said and I will be right back. Alright. Alright guys, so I just got to the Nether Fortress and I got a speed potion and a fire resistant potion. Hold on, let me kill this Magnus Slime. Magnus Slime? No, it's a Magnum Cube. Um, hopefully he can drop some... Magma cube, not magma cube. There we go, magma cream. Awesome, sweet. So we got some magma cream. Actually, you don't actually need to kill magma cube or magma magma cream. Now that I got a slime farm, and since I'm going to kill a bunch of blazes, I can now just add blaze powder and slime balls, and I can actually get magma cream, which is actually pretty cool. Um, definitely a better alternative than killing a magma cube. Um, that's 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 for sure. So. 
Um, uh, yeah, let me just break through real quick. Uh, toss that. Don't really care about the nether fences. All right, so I've definitely explored this before. Um, my goal is basically just to get some blaze rods and get some fire, not fire resistant, get some wither heads if I can, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, I will be able to completely, but we'll see. We'll see. You never know. Uh, yep, I know. I have fire resistance. You can't touch me. Come on. <laughs> you can't touch me. All right, so let's see. Um, I wonder if there's that many over here because it's definitely just a wide, narrow. That was dangerous. Very, very wide, kind of narrow area. I don't think I'll be finding that many wither skeletons, to be honest. All right, so... All these chests are already checked. I know that for sure. I'm just looking for some wither skeletons. I also got my feather falling bits on, so that's good. Um, that's really good, actually. So let's see. I'm not finding much. Um, oh, there's some more nether wart. Awesome. So I don't, I don't know. I'm wondering if I should cut the video or not um, because I'm definitely not finding too much this isn't as entertaining as I thought it would be so I don't know if there is going to be anything I need to find a blaze oh there's a wither right there um who holy Jesus epic parkour did you guys see that oh my god yes holy crap that's I don't know Oh, okay, so <laughs> I'll just tell you guys a story while um, I'm killing withers and stuff like that. So um, every time I plays, played Minecraft when I was like young, uh, my brother would always get super mad at me because of how dangerous I was um, when it came to playing Minecraft. And um, I'm not saying I disagree with him, but I'm just saying I can be safe with it if I want to, but... Um, as you guys just saw, whenever I do parkour like that, I normally always make it, um, I definitely goof sometimes, <laughs> like that one time, um, I was playing local craft with MC Awesome, and I actually died in the lava, because I was trying to do parkour off of the nether hub, and I lost all my stuff, it kind of sucked, but it was a really funny story, actually, I should take that, just in case, um, it was actually just a really funny story, um, actually, what's my fire resistance at, okay, I'm good, um, but yeah, I really derped that episode. I was kind of ashamed, but <laughs> it was really funny. Alright, that's a lot of blaze. Let's see if I can get some blaze rods off of you. Oh, there's one. Um, we're also in the new snapshot, which is actually kind of cool, because I want to show you guys something. Um, come on. Did you drop something? No. Um, I, I definitely need to show you guys something with the blaze rods now, so... Uh, blaze rods now actually look like you're holding like sort of like a sword so I thought that was pretty cool how blazes actually hold no you actually hold blaze rods like an actual sword now I definitely like that better especially in um, lava hollow because you have the golden rod of Thoxios which is pretty much a blaze rod with just some attachment not attachments enchantments on it which is um which I think I really like now considering it actually looks like an actual sword so I don't know guys um, what I'm probably gonna do is I'll cut the video and then I will be right back alright oh thank god for fellow falling alright guys so um, I got nine blaze rods it's not exactly um, the number I was looking for but uh, I think it's time to head back. I'm starting to get a little bit um, screwed. I don't know where to go, actually. Where am I supposed to go? Hold on. Let me kill this blaze. Don't touch me. You understand? All right, so... Oh, gosh. Where do I go? This ain't good. This ain't good. Let's go to the other side. No. Let's see. I'm supposed to get over there. That was not the way I was supposed to go. Come on. Let's go. Alright, so... Am I going to have to stack up again? Um, I might. Hold on. 
two, three, four, quickly. Grab the other one, two, three, four. See, I was killing so many blazes, and none of them dropped that many blaze rods. Like, I killed probably 18 blazes, and none of them dropped anything. It was pretty... Pretty weird for blazes not to be dropping anything. So I need to go down. Let's go to that fence. I don't want you. Let's go down one more. I think this is where I'm supposed to go. <gasps> dead. I'm 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 dead. Damn it. No. No, no. No, no, I can't believe I fell. No. No, no, no. no. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Ah. Thank God I got all these diamonds, guys. Oh, my God. That blows. Holy crap. Oh, my God. Ugh. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Can't believe that. Ugh. Okay. Um, I'm good, though. I'm good. I still have all of my diamond stuff. Um, I didn't lose that much except for my feather falling. That's pretty much only, that's probably much my only loss to this, um, besides, um, all my iron and stuff like that. Actually, hold on, let's get rid of these chain pants, put these back, um, iron leggings, the boots, put on the boots. Quickly, let's restack, um, dang it, dang it all, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, that sucks. That sucks, what a waste, um... Oh well, it's alright, it's for, it's, it's, uh, shit happens, alright, so, <sighs> okay, so I think I think we've ran out of time for this episode, um, if you enjoyed the video and want to see what happens next, please give the video a thumbs up, as well subscribe for more videos like this one, that's pretty much it guys, I hope you have an awesome day, my name's Fiona Thrower, and I'll see you guys in the next video, peace.